Hi and welcome to Alba Physio. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, caring for an older dog and one of the reasons why I want to talk about this is I've just seen a, a beautiful 15 year old uh, Staffy, a rescue, who's had a really tough time but has done super throughout her life and in the last three to four years her owners have seen a deterioration really in her, the way she moves and how much she can do. So her capacity for being able to move about and go on her walks. She used to absolutely love playing with the ball and chasing the ball and all that kind of thing. And that's really been curtailed in the last, really in the last two years in particular. Things that they've noticed are things like she's pacing a little bit more, you know, struggling to get up in the morning, maybe not as good as she used to be. Need a little bit of help in hand with things like getting in and out of the car. She's now getting lifted in and out of the car and also getting up from her bed in the morning or after she's been lying down for a while. They've also noticed that she's sleeping a bit more and they've really had to reduce the amount of walks that she does because she's just not coping with being able to get back to the car after she started her walks. And the reason why this gorgeous little one was brought in is because they wanted to know what else can they do, number one, and how can you make sure if your dog is comfortable? Because that's really a key point, is how, what steps do you need to be making sure, what things do you need to ensure that they're able to do and that you can do at home to ensure not only is your dog comfortable, but also can you get more from it? Like what else can you do to help your dog along this stage? Because this stage can be quite a protracted stage in that, you know, you go through really such a roller coaster of emotions. One day you'll often find that you can be looking at your dog thinking, right, we need to call the vet because she's really deteriorated. And literally by the next day, she's a different dog. She's back to herself again. And that's one of the symptoms and one of the things that we see a lot in here is that it gets very difficult sometimes to know how and what should we be doing with our dog when they are in this phase in their life. So especially if they have a back end issues, they might be knuckling, so that means they're, they're coming over on their foot and they're not actually placing. They'll sometimes be tripping quite a lot. Even in front, you might notice they're tripping or clipping the, the edge of the door on their way out. They might even struggle with steps. In the beginning, it can be that they're just rushing them. They do not want to take their time to go up them. They're not able to, they're just rushing in or rushing down. And after a while, it can be it, it, it can be kind of oh, catch them before they get there uh, type type activity and it, it's knowing how to to help your dog when they're going through this phase because it's as important to have your physio program at home then as any other stage in life because you'll know yourself if you're moving differently and you're trying to move yourself around and you've had a sore back or even a back that's not working as well as it should or your core isn't as good as well as it should you need more support in there to help that. And they're absolutely no different. So what to expect when they come to physio? Well, first of all, uh, one of the things that owners are often very worried about is that they don't want to stress their dog anymore. Their dog is already of a certain age. They're not sure if it's gone too far, if they can actually help their dog. And it's one of the things that we'll assess as well when you come in is, what can we really do to help this dog and what can you really do to help this dog at home and anything that we do give you anything that we do assess any part of our assessment is all very stress-free these guys come in and just enjoy because that's what they should be doing you know they should be enjoying every bit so that's what they get to do and they get really pampered and and really taken care of and that's what's really important we go through everything so how can we make the home as good as it can be for your dog? How can, what else, what other things do you need in order to help your dog move? And what's the best way? Should you be walking them? Should you not? Where should you walk them? Where should you not? What kind of things you can help at night, especially if they're pacing or they're struggling to get out of their bed in the mornings, or they may even have had the odd accident as well in their bed or throughout the house because they haven't quite made it to the door. So those are kind of things that we really work on as well. And that's what you'll get when you come here. And I think it's really important, especially if you are one of those owners that you're feeling at home and you think, is there something else I should be doing? Uh, she's already on tramadol, maybe some Metcam or Onsior or some non-steroidals. They might even be on some gabapentin, some of these stronger drugs. And, and they're 
really is important to kind of look holistically. There's so much support out there now for dogs and looking holistically is what else you can do because there's lots of stuff you can actually do at home because it can be quite difficult actually to get the meds in because they get a little bit pickier about what they eat, they're dropping in weight, they're dropping in muscle bulk, all these kind of things. You never have one without three or four sort of other consequences of, of, of what's going on. So if you're in that position, just give us a shout. Absolutely no problem. There's tons of things that you can do with your dog and uh, you'll probably find another video here on YouTube that will go through those. And have a think. Give us a shout we're here even our any of our veterinary care team just even to chat through what's happening with your dog and we can usually tell you whether we can help or not and whether you'll be able to help or not and whether we can give you things to do at home as well to help your dog to make sure that they're not uncomfortable to make sure that we're doing everything we can to get the right muscles working to help support them getting up getting back down and being able to move about well and also there's different pieces of equipment at home that you can use that makes a massive difference to these things as well. So give us a shout here at the clinic if you'd like to know more and we look forward to speaking to you soon.